This is Dynamite Vineyards 2006 Red Blend, California. So, um, Dynamite, you may have heard of. Uh, they're a winery that uh, was under the Shalone Group and produce, they produce a lot of really good value varietal wines. Cab, Merlot, Zin, stuff like that. This wine is uh, something a little different. Um, the grapes come from uh, Sonoma and Napa primarily, but um, they do bring in grapes from other Appalachians in California. And essentially what they're doing is they're trying to put together a really nice, fun wine to drink. So there's, they've got uh, Merlot, they've got Zinfandel, they've got Petit Syrah, they've got Cab Sauve, they've got Cabernet Franc, they've got Petit Verdot. All those varieties <laughs> are blended into this wine. And so, you know, when you first open it and, you know, pour it in a glass, you think, okay, well, it's going to be like, you know, a Meritage wine. It's going to be sort of Merlot Cab style. And you smell it, and you get a lot of those nice, um, wonderful cab notes. <laughs> Actually, really, really pretty on the nose. Um, a lot of plums. Plums. Black cherries. I get some dark chocolate on the nose, too. Um, but there's more to this wine. <laughs> so let's try it. Yeah, so all that wonderful ripe plum, cherry, I'm getting some blackberry fruit, really nice. But there's also a really incredible spice note to this wine. Um, real sort of zesty, spicy, um, herbally, um, but more like, more brown spice like clove or um, sort of nutmeg notes in here, and it's all comes together in really supple, sort of a little bit chewy. I mean, there's sort of some sort of uh, gripping tannins that make it a little, give it a little bit of a chewiness on the palate, which I like. Um, but what it, what it overall, my impression is that it's, it's sort of a surprise because I'm expecting sort of something sort of straight kind of Cab Merlot, and yet I get uh, other stuff going on, really sort of fun stuff. So this is a wine you can kind of uh, match up to a lot of different foods. You know, I would, I would match this up to, you know, something as simple as a, uh, you know, a grilled pork loin, something like that. But you could also match it up with something very spicy. Um, you know, if you're going to make something like uh, a fajitas or a, uh, you know, a Mexican mole or something like that, you could enjoy this wine as well. I think it would stand up to that. And uh, best of all, it's an incredible value. Enjoy.